All right, what's up guys, Jerry Cam PZ. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I have been out sick for about a week, so this is my first video back. Christina had to host one of my Bill Series episodes, which she absolutely crushed, proud of her. And uh, thank you guys for uh, sticking with us through the uh, wait. Um, if you get that sickness, go to the doctor, because it's brutal. Anyway, uh, today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing um, from a helmet company called Rorock. This is their Rorock Atlas uh, 2.0. So um, I've never tried one of these. I actually was interested in buying the first version. There was a couple of things that kept me from buying that version. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but they did send this helmet for me to check out. Um, they, did, they didn't pay me any money or anything like that. So I'm able to give you guys an honest uh, review like I always do on things. So I'm really excited to do an unboxing, give you guys a first impression, and then I'll, I'll do a whole like riding with it and separate video and all that kind of stuff. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so let's just dive right on into this. Atlas Rorock 2.0. Uh, one of my favorite parts about these helmets is they're all carbon fiber. So you know I gotta be about that life. Uh, let's actually pull out the, okay, so yeah, so it ships with a clear visor, but they actually send you a dark visor. And I think they all have, um, yeah, so they have things on them. You have to peel this off. Look how nice that is. I really like when helmet companies send you a dark visor in the box. I believe they do all come with dark visors because let's face it, nobody wants a clear visor. You really only use those at night if you have to. So that's really cool that they send that. And then let's just get right into the helmet in here. It actually smells really good. I know that might be weird, but it smells really good. So um, this shockwave in here that they sent doesn't normally come with the helmets. They sent this to me uh, because they obviously want me to try it out. This is their Bluetooth integration into the helmet. So it's kind of like if you know Senna, how they have like a thing on the side of the helmet. This is my personal helmet here. It's kind of like Senna's, or their version of the Senna. Uh, the cool thing about this is it actually goes right here in the back of the helmet. So it doesn't hang off the side of the helmet, doesn't create any drag or anything like that. I think it's a really cool idea. They kind of like, their whole thing is like rethinking the helmet. And um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It comes in this nice little case a cover. And let's pull it out. So check this out, guys. They have all kinds of different colors and things like that. I, as you know me, said I want matte carbon. Look at that thing. It is a beautiful, beautiful helmet. It kind of reminds me, if you guys have seen like uh, Alien vs. Predator, or, or like, uh, like the first Predators, it looks like the helmet they wear, those guys. So you can see scratch resistant, anti-fog, it actually has pin lock fog as well, um, which is basically like you put it in here so that there's two layer protection, which is good for riding when it's cold, things like that. So if you guys ride, you probably know what these are. It goes on the inside of the, the visor. Um, <clears throat> so initial impressions on this helmet. This is one of the lightest helmets I've ever felt. Teams feel that. Yeah, it's very light. Isn't that? And and so especially compared to your to feel, your bell. Feel this one. That's a full carbon bell helmet right there. Seven hundred fifty. Oh my god, that's so heavy. A lot heavier. Now, oh, that's a lot have heavier. Bluetooth and everything, the speakers and all that. In but there. I doubt that adds. But it wasn't that as much light weight. as this when I got it. Um, so price point on these, you're looking right around four hundred dollars, and then they go up depending on. They do like limited edition colors, which is super cool. Um, I believe this one's around four hundred, four thirty, something like that. Um, they haven't been released yet, so you guys will find that. I'll put a link to every, or I'll put a link to their website and to these specific helmets in the description below if you're interested. Um, but I just think it's an absolutely stunning helmet. They did a really good job. The carbon looks really, really nice. The weave, like I said, the freaking design of it. So let's get into some of the features. So first off, very important, they have these emergency cheek pad releases. N normally only find these in really high-end helmets. This is so if you get in an accident and you're laying on the ground and you might have like neck damage or head trauma or whatever, uh, the emergency personnel can just pull these cheek pads right out so they can get the helmet off of you in a safe manner. Uh, comes with a, um, what's this thing called? Chin. A chin. Guard. A chin guard, thank you. Comes with a chin guard. I'm still getting over my sickness here, so bear with me, guys. Um, one of the things that I was reading a little bit about the previous generation and some of the things people didn't like, um, I heard in the previous generation that they were a little bit loud, and then I also heard that people didn't like um, how the visors worked. So there weren't like actual positions, like now you can hear like how they're cl it's clicking into positions. They didn't have that apparently before. So to me, the visor feels really good. Um, it fits around the helmet really well and everything just looks really nice to me from a glance. So 
Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this. Oh, one other thing that's really cool about these guys is they have this little system called the FID lock. This is how it attaches. So you literally just set it on there and it magnetically attaches and that's how the helmet stays on. And then when you want it off, you just have to pull this. Look how easy that comes off. Teens, you know how annoying it is to oh, put yeah. on the straps on your helmets. Mm -hmm. That is brilliant. And once again, I said they, they're kind of rethinking the motorcycle helmet. It's that kind of stuff that goes a long way to like fixing things that are annoying. When you normally put your helmet on, if you have your gloves on, you literally can't put this on. Then you have to take your gloves back off. You know, it's just like a, a big ordeal trying to fish it through and back again. So I think that's really, really cool. Um, inside, let's actually, I'm just gonna try this on. So this is actually a medium. They didn't have a small whenever they sent it out to me. So, oh, before I put it on, one other thing. This is DOT approved. Um, it doesn't have the Snell rating. Uh, Snell is more for high speed stuff, track racing. For now, this is more of a street helmet. So Snell is more like 80 plus mile per hour accidents. This is, they're, they're thinking you shouldn't be going over 80 miles an hour, uh, although a lot of us do. Um, but it's still DOT certified, so you're, you're probably gonna be fine if you get in an accident. Uh, yeah, let's throw this puppy on and see how it feels. So this is a medium which is a little bit big for me, but um, it was very easy to get on. So you can see it's just a little bit big for me, but insides actually feels pretty damn good guys. So I'm comparing this to a $750 helmet. It doesn't feel quite as premium as the inside of that, but it's pretty damn close. And just how light it is. How does it look teams? Badass. It looks pretty sick, right? Yeah. Aggressive. I'm impressed guys. This thing is freaking pimp. It's crazy, as a moto vlogger, one other thing that I really like about this is this flat surface right here. So I could easily put a GoPro on here and I don't have to get some crazy mount or like glue crazy shit on the sides of it. Yeah, it's a really, really nice helmet. Actually very impressed. I'm gonna see if I can use the fit lock here. I've never actually tried to use this before. There it is. Wow, that's That actually, was easy. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really nice. And then, wow, that's crazy. So, yeah, first impressions, guys. I'm pretty dang impressed by this thing. Uh, it already has uh, cheek cutouts or ear speaker cutouts for the speakers. I'll show you guys uh, this guy here. I've never tried any of these helmets or anything like that, so um, this is all first impressions for you guys. So yeah, so this is their <clears throat> integrated speaker, Bluetooth, and. Um, speakers and, your, and then your uh, microphone and then look this is your little bluetooth module how crazy is that guys and then you just basically unscrew this plug it in there i'll do a, um, a review of all of this once i do the whole helmet itself but you got your little charger here it comes with your speakers and again it has cutouts ready to go for these speakers and then you have your little microphone somewhere probably underneath uh as well so that's that's pretty cool guys. I, initial impressions, I'm very impressed with this helmet. Uh, one other thing is um, on the first generation of the helmet, apparently you had to use a tool in order to get your um, visors off. So now you don't have to use a tool. You just, I think you just spin this thing. Let's see, yeah, boom. So it's a little thing that you just spin, pop off, because I'm just gonna put the, the dark one right on. Push it on, and then you use these guys once again. No tool re re required. And then it just locks into place like that. Really nice, that's a really nice touch. I like their logo a lot. I like their their marketing, the way that, damn, this helmet looks freaking crazy too. Yeah, this I might uh, throw a GoPro on this and make this my uh, filming helmet. Once I give it a shot, because it's so light, man, it's like, so nice. This is crazy. Like that's that's insane. How's it look? <laughs> Amazing. Pretty badass. So intense. Yeah. I like intense. Yeah, that's really nice. And like, mine actually doesn't have any positions. The bell is either open or closed, and they have just a venting position here. And sometimes I do ride like this, or even yeah, like that. I would probably ride sometimes, like at really low speeds. If I'm talking to people, I want some air or whatever. I'm actually really impressed with this. Feels like a really premium, oh yeah, that's ridiculous. Well, for a new helmet company to make adjustments as fast as they did and listen to their fan base, I'm impressed guys. So thank you for sending this out. I look forward to riding with uh, the new one, the small one, whenever you send it. And uh, 
first impressions. It's a super cool helmet, guys. If you're interested, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Let me know what you guys think of this bad boy, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.